So I just want to thank everyone again for uh, joining. Um, <clears throat> this is our SEO webinar. And my name is Craig Kingsbury. I'm on the customer success team here at Issue. Uh, a little bit about me, what I do, help any of our publishers or um, future publishers who are interested in Issue just learn more about how they can use the product to um, better distribute their content, track it, um, and just make it more available to everyone, you know, either across the web or social media, um, really anywhere that they interact with their audience. And I'm actually uh, lucky enough to be joined by my colleague, Moni, uh, who will be able to lend a little bit of expertise uh, to SEO. Uh, he has a huge knowledge in this space and um, can give more background into how Issue can help with that, uh, more from the backside of things. So, um, Issue, uh, Moni, can you hop on and just uh, introduce yourself real quick? Yeah, uh, Moni, I've uh, been in publishing for over 10 years, so I know quite a bit about SEO, and I work on the monetization side. Um, very much forward looking to sharing what we have in this deck to help you guys um, figure out your strategy and also to grow your reads from SEO uh, along with a few other sources. Awesome. So uh, as we get started, I just want to remind everyone, uh, this uh, webinar is actually going to be recorded. Uh, so anyone who's joining the webinar, you'll be able to get a, a copy of that presentation. We'll send out emails to everyone uh, who registered and, you know, also joined the presentation. So if you want to go back and review anything, you'll be able to do that. Um, if there's anyone else on your team or just anyone else that you think might be interested in this sort of thing, uh, you can always pass that along as well. Um, the other way is, uh, you know, if you want to go to our help center, you can hit uh, support. It's at the top of your uh, issue dashboard. We have all the recordings from our webinars there. So you can check out this one uh, when we post this sometime early next week. Uh, and then you can also take a look at anything that we've actually uploaded in the past. So maybe you'll see something else there that you might find interesting. So we'll go ahead and get this started. So the first thing that we're going to cover is just kind of general, you know, what SEO is and, and how issue can kind of help, um, you know, with improving your SEO for your content. So SEO, search engine optimization, is just a way for you increasing the visibility of your content within search results. Uh, and when we're talking about that, we're referring to both within issue and then outside of issues. So Google, Bing, Yahoo, um, really any of those main search engine platforms that you probably think of when you're looking for content. So one of the things that, you know, Issue is going to be able to do for you is it's also a discover platform and not everyone always thinks of it this way, but it is a huge discover platform for people. Um, so people are either searching directly on issue, either by keywords, which we'll cover a little bit in this as well, and then also categories. Um, and we're going to talk about how you can optimize that, make your content surface better and just give more visibility to anything that you do upload uh, to issue. Um, what will also happen is anything that you do within issue is also going to be indexed by those search engines that we were talking about. So Google, Bing, Yahoo, um, those are the, the big ones really. Um, all that will be indexed and searchable outside the platform as well. So you don't need to do any additional work there. Uh, and it will help surface your content for anyone searching for relevant content just through those um, big search engines. Now, something I do want to note uh, before moving forward, um, all of this content, the search optimization, uh, it's really going to be utilized by our paid plans. Um, so our free plan is available to upload content and make it available on issue. But if you really want to take advantage um, of the search engine optimization side of issue, getting your content surfaced, um, you're going to want to be on one of the paid plans. That's either the starter plan, the premium, or the optimum. All those will work for that. So just kind of continuing with this a little bit, um, some of the pieces of SEO, um, you know, either within issues specifically or outside, just people searching on the web. Um, the first thing is text extraction. So any of the text that's actually built within the content that you're uploading to issue uh, is going to be read by the software, um, indexed, and then made searchable. So all of your text within your upload is searchable. It's not just, uh, you know, keywords that you're plugging in somewhere. Um, everything's going to be relevant. Um, so that kind of leads into, you know, people searching for relevant content um, within the platform from outside of it. Um, it's all going to be surfaced. It's going to be exposed uh, to readers either through issue again or through those search engines. And something else that's really big with issue that really sets us apart from some of the other uh, platforms out there is we have a huge reader base. So we've been around for uh, over 12 years now. And um, through that time, because we have that discover platform, we get about 30 million uploads um, 
and uh, 100 million uh, monthly active readers. Um, so there's a lot of people coming to issue, reading content, engaging with it, and driving that traffic. Uh, and because anything that you upload to issue, it will benefit from that traffic. Uh, that gives uh, basically uh, more power to anything that you upload to those search engines like Google, like Yahoo, or Bing, um, where it's going to surface that content faster. Um, because of so much traffic going to issue than you would if you were just uploading, you know, maybe a PDF or even a web page directly on uh, your website. So someone who's, you know, maybe starting something up or just looking for an extra little boost um, in their SEO just by uploading your content to issue, you're going to get that nice little boost because of the traffic that does come to issue. So again, just a little bit about understanding um, SEO as a whole. There's different resources that are available. Um, these are some of the resources that we found to be really helpful, uh, specifically with SEO. Uh, and they're just different blogs or uh, tools that you can look at to better your knowledge or um, better do a little bit of research um, to understand how to optimize your, your search. So the first one that I want to highlight here is the Moz blog. And this is a really good blog just for better understanding SEO as a whole and brand marketing. So if you've never actually checked that one out before, I definitely recommend uh, looking for that. You can just search for Moz blog and that will come up. Uh, the other one is Google Webmasters. And this has really been growing a lot over the last few years. Uh, and it's going to provide a lot of information on their own system. So Google is responsible for a lot of this SEO that you're going to be using. So you can go directly to them um, and just learn more about um, some of the different things that are happening with the system um, to better improve your knowledge there. Uh, the other one is Search Engine Land. And this covers breaking stories. So if you're just wanting to get understanding of, you know, what's currently happening, what are the trends are in digital marketing, this is another great place to do that. Uh, SEO is constantly evolving. So the better that you can stay up to date on what's happening, what trends are emerging, the better equipped you are going to be uh, when you're creating these keywords um, for your content. Uh, the last one that I want to point out here is Google search trends. Now this is a really cool tool that you can use and you can search specific keywords. You can see anything that's maybe relevant that you wanna to use to make your content stick out and just see what kind of, um, you know, basically search trends are around that. Maybe there's different keywords that are, that are trending better and then you wanna use that instead. So you can analyze historical data, you can look at what's currently happening. Uh, and again, like I said, SEO changes uh, constantly. So if you're looking at it yearly, monthly, weekly, um, sometimes even hourly, it can really change. So this is going to be giving you better equipped um, to actually, you know, make those changes to your SEO and, and um, plug in the content that, that you want to surface. So this next section that we're going to go over is just really how to optimize your issue profile to improve your SEO. So a lot of these are going to be really simple changes that you can make in really just a matter of minutes. Um, that are going to help boost your SEO, not only within the platform, but outside of it. Uh, and some of them you may be doing already. Some of them you may, may not be. Um, but implementing all these is really going to help make a full profile and then make that content more searchable. So the first one uh, that comes up is a profile description. Uh, this one seems really obvious, um, but it's also something that constantly we see people leave out. Uh, and it's really one of the easier things that you can do uh, to make your content uh, more searchable. This is going to be indexed just like anything else that you upload to issue. So making sure that you have uh, a proper profile description uh, in your issue account is really going to help people find your content, search for it, um, you know, whether it is on issue or even they're searching outside of issue, this is going to help you with that. So just a little advice about creating those uh, descriptions. So when you're creating a description, you want to be specific and you want to include uh, keywords that are going to be relevant to that particular piece of content. So you can see in an example here, uh, the, the Nicey Knits Fall 2020 Knitwear Lookbook, it's going to be much better than a Lookbook 20. So if you're keeping it simple and all of your, um, your, your publications are named something simple, but not including keywords or anything relevant particularly to your brand, uh, we always recommend going back. You can always edit these later if you have some that are on there that, that are just too simple uh, and broad and get more specific with them and make sure to include those keywords. Uh, the same goes for the descriptions for those particular publications. So again, you can kind of just see this, um, this example here. So new for 2020, handmade scarves, hats, mittens, um, baby blankets by popular Etsy seller, uh, Nicey Knits. Uh, this is great because it's uh, incredibly specific about what the content is 
It's including keywords that's relevant to what that content is. Uh, and it's also just going to give people a better understanding about what it is. And they're going to be more likely to click on it, engage with it if they know um, a little bit more about it before even clicking into it. So this is another one um, that you know is fairly obvious, um, but something that you know you do need to do to make sure that your content is surfaced and indexed. Um, you'd need to upload your content. That's how it's going to be indexed by issue and then also uh, indexed by Google. Um, something to note here, though, that you know maybe isn't so obvious right away. Um, you want to make sure that your text inside your content is selected as a vector uh, and then not an image. So one way to think about this, uh, you know, if you're wanting your content to be available on the web. You're going to want that content um, basically, uh, you, you know, to be seen by um, the software that we're using. And the way to do that is make sure that your PDF is not saved as a print PDF, um, because that will basically turn it into an image. Um, what we do is we basically the software will read the content, um, the actual characters in there, and then that's how it's going to index that. So if your content saved as that print PDF version, it's not going to be able to do that. And then your content within there is not going to be indexed. So um, definitely something important to keep in mind when you're doing that. Adding a profile picture is another really simple thing you can do and really just takes uh, maybe a couple minutes just to, to grab that image and plug that in. Uh, when people are searching you know, within uh, issue, they can search by publisher. And right here, what you're seeing is an example of uh, a publisher search with some with an image there and then others without it. And the profile image is going to help make your profile look more complete, more professional, uh, and then also help it stick out more. So this is going to be more for uh, people actually seeing your content, being more likely to click on it. Um, so that's definitely a huge thing that, that oftentimes is overlooked um, when people are setting up their profile. So make sure you can always go back, uh, click on your profile icon in the top right corner, uh, and then just go ahead and change that in your account settings. So in addition to it showing up in the search, it's also going to show up on your public profile. So if people click on your public profile on issue where they can see all of your content, uh, that image is also going to appear there. So again, it's just kind of rounding out um, your entire profile on issue and making it more complete, more professional, uh, and just a better experience for the, the people visiting that. Another thing that you can do that I highly recommend to everyone, uh, and I do pretty often see this, this left out, and it's really a, it's a missed opportunity and something that you should definitely check on, uh, is linking your social accounts. So connecting your Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, uh, Instagram, all of that directly to your issue account uh, is going to give people more opportunities to engage with your content online. So people can go and visit your content uh, directly through issue. They can see both your um, website address there too. They can click on that. You can use this as a tool to drive people directly back to your website. Uh, and then also those social media accounts. Those are just little widgets. People can click on that uh, and you can really use this to drive con uh, people back over to your social. Uh, another tool that uh, is one of our more recent ones um, is our article stories. And this is another really cool way for you to highlight specific pieces of content share those out on social media uh, and help drive people back to your entire publications using these tools. Um, so what you can basically do is extract specific articles, turn them into mobile optimized reading experiences. You can see that example over in the right hand side. Uh, so rather than that flip book, you'll get that vertical scroll experience. Uh, that's really great for people to read, especially on their mobile phone. So if you're posting to social media um, or just anywhere that, you know, people are probably going to be more likely to be reading that on their phone. This is a great way for you to do that. It's also taking a new piece of content from your existing one uh, and allowing that also to get indexed. Um, so the more that you can do that, the more likely people are gonna run into that content, engage with it, um, and then increasing your SEO from there. So you can create as many stories as you want um, and it really is the best reading experience for people on their mobile phones. In addition to the um, article stories, we have something that's called visual stories. Uh, and this is something that's really cool because what you're able to do is take uh, your visual content, turn that into a totally new piece of asset, uh, but you can also plug in uh, text with that. So you have your images, you have your text, all of this is gonna be indexed by Google. Uh, in fact, um, every visual story that you create on issue is gonna be a Google AMP uh, story. And what that means is that it's a new initiative by Google and it stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages. 
And all the content that is uh, Google AMP is optimized for Google indexing. Uh, and it's also prioritized for mobile search. Um, so anyone who's searching for relevant content, so any of that text that you've included, uh, either directly in the story or in that description is going to be indexed and be prioritized for people searching on their mobile phones. So this is a really cool tool that you can use to, um, to optimize that. So I'll hand it over to Monty and he can uh, go in a little bit more detail about um, specifically, you know, what issue is doing to help, uh, you know, boost your content. Uh, give me a moment here. Uh, yes. Sorry about that. I need to share my screen, which I do. Uh, so uh, as Craig mentioned earlier, uh, there's a free tool called Google Search Trends. Um, you can also just Google Search Trends um, and it lets you look at historical trends and patterns and kind of see what's trending and, and topical. So in the next slide, we'll see an example that I recorded earlier. Uh, for instance, uh, we saw a lot of activity with furniture. So I'm just gonna look at furniture here and you will see the results here because uh, Corona seems to have spiked interest in furniture, but this really isn't helpful. So we'll look at the past five years. And as we start to look at this, I noticed that there were some patterns and trends where it's November, late November of each year where people start to look for furniture. I'm not in the furniture industry, but I thought this was actually particularly interesting when, you know, planning out content and ways to use this tool is to kind of see when things are spiking. And what's nice is that you can actually drill down and go into specific countries. Let me just open up another tab for that. So you'll see, so for instance, let's expand on furniture a bit more. Let's do past five years. And if you're not in the US, you can actually pick a different country such as Australia and see if it has the same patterns. I don't know if it does, but uh, this tool is very uh, nice in that it lets you kind of um, look around, but actually, here we go. We see spikes in late December. Uh, I don't know why, but I guess people are shopping for furniture there, but it's a fairly consistent spike that you'll see over the past five years. So um, taking this into mind, this might help you plan your content of when you want to publish or even work on article stories or visual stories to repurpose the content that you've actually already created and uploaded. And I'm moving on. And one of the reasons why you should use issues, uh, going, to, going with Maz here, we have very high domain authority at 94. It's out of 100. So uh, the likelihood of your content getting uh, indexed and searched is going to be on the higher side. Uh, if you have a brand new website, it takes at least four to six weeks uh, uh, for Google to perhaps even index it. And that's if you are submitting your domain to the Google search index. So with here, uh, with this, you can actually get it um, indexed really, really quickly. Uh, issue gets crawled every few days uh, by the, the search engines. And the next one, another uh, expounding upon what Craig said earlier that we actually pick up the text. So taking this catalog here, this is uh, the, the right panel is actually what the, uh, the spiders are seeing. So we actually pick up and present all of that text to the search engine so that you don't actually have to go in and copy paste it onto your website. Uh, so, uh, so this is another reason why, you know, you should upload your content um, to, and, and use issue. All right, I'm gonna hand it back to Craig. Right, so I'll just open up my screen here again real quick. Oops. All right, so here we go. All right, so one thing that we actually wanna bring up for everyone that's on the call that's, um, that's really neat is we're actually gonna be able to create uh, an infographic for everyone who did join. So at the end of uh, this webinar, 
what we'll be doing is when you close out the uh, webinar, there should be a, um, a survey that comes up. So anyone who's interested in getting a breakdown of their SEO with issue and getting it in this uh, format of this infographic, all you really need to do is uh, fill out that, uh, that little survey, uh, include your information, and then we'll be able to actually create this infographic for you and then send those out in uh, some follow-up emails. Uh, hopefully we'll have that uh, be able to be available sometime next week um, for everyone who does, uh, who is interested in that, but you can kind of get an idea of, um, you know, what we'll be able to do with that uh, and a really cool little breakdown there. So you'll be able to see, you know, how many reads that you're getting, where those people are coming from to just kind of get a better understanding of, you know, what your traffic is and, and really how that's being driven um, directly through issues. So um, again, yeah, if you're interested, you know, please feel up, uh, feel free to fill out, fill out that survey um, just at the end. So when it does close out, uh, that should automatically open up for you and then you can just submit that. So um, yeah, put, please take advantage of this and yeah, we'd love to see um, just some of these different reports for people. So the last section that we're going to cover here uh, before uh, you know we end the webinar is just some troubleshooting for SEO. Uh, a lot of times we do pe get people writing into our support line um, just asking questions. So these are the, some of the questions that you know we would typically typically get and just some of the solutions around those. So something common that people ask is you know I'm not seeing my content in search results. Um, this can sometimes be because you just uploaded your content and it can take a little bit of time for it to be indexed. So if you have just uploaded your content and you're searching for it, you don't see it showing up right away, uh, give it a little bit of time. Um, it does need to, to index it and then make it available in those searches. Um, and the other thing that you want to do here is, again, going back to your description, make sure that description is completed. Um, the more that you can fill out your entire issue profile, the more likely it is going to show up uh, in those search results. So that's something um, you know, huge that you can do that really doesn't take a whole lot of time. Uh, again, both your profile description and your actual upload, the description for that particular document uh, is gonna be huge for that. Um, something else that comes up pretty frequently is people ask about low search ranking. Uh, and this could be due to a number of different reasons. You could be in a really competitive space, um, but you can also do some things to your content specifically to help uh, mitigate any of that. Uh, one of those things is to avoid uh, generic terms. So you can see people maybe post things just like dogs or, or golf. Um, being more specific with your content, uh, maybe it's the area you are in um, or it's your, your brand or um, anything else that's going to help set you apart, especially if it's something um, that's a really competitive uh, keyword or, or just generic keyword. Um, this is going to help, um, you know, change that that low ranking and, and help bring you back up higher uh, in the search results. So just think, be more specific with your content description, uh, and you're going to get better results. Um, another thing that that can happen, and uh, if you're not familiar with it, uh, unlisted content. Um, so unlisted content is basically our private feature, and what that does is it prevents it from being um, shown in search results. So um, if your content isn't showing up, uh, I recommend clicking on your document that, uh, that you've uploaded. You can click on that from your publication list, go to your publication tab, click on create. From there, you can see if your content is marked as public. Um, you know, if you do want your content public, make sure you do that. That's gonna allow it to show up in those search results. Um, the last thing that I wanna bring up is you may be on the free plan. So if you are on uh, issues free plan, um, that's gonna give you the ability to upload your content and make it available online, um, but it's not gonna be optimized for search results um, on this type of plan. So um, SEO is automatically enabled on all of our paid plans. So again, that includes starter, premium, and optimum. So anytime that you are on one of those paid plans, your content will be optimized for search results uh, and you don't need to make any additional changes. Once you're on the paid plan, your content will automatically be indexed and optimized for SEO, both on issue uh, and outside of issue for um, other search engines like Google and, and Bing and Yahoo, like we spoke about before. So I wanna say thank you to uh, everyone for joining. Uh, I wanna thank Monty again for uh, taking time to hop on and help out. Um, and, and again, uh, at the end of this, we are going to have that survey that's going to be sent out to everyone. Uh, it should be as soon as you log off um, the webinar that will show up. So if you do want to receive uh, your own infographic for your specific content, uh, feel free to fill that out. Uh, one thing that's important for that, make sure you include your username. 
Uh, if you don't know where to find your username, if you just open up any of your documents, you should see that appear uh, right after the issue.com slash and then your username should appear there. So um, thanks again for everyone for joining. I hope everyone found this helpful uh, and have a good rest of your week. All right, thanks everybody.